So I just wanted to show you how we do the podcast live uh, with OBS and just show you my setup for it. It used to take two hours to record the episode and then like it could be four or five hours editing it each week. Um, we got the recordings down to maybe an hour, hour and a half, um, but the edit was still, it's so hard because you've got to listen to the whole thing and the whole thing and the whole thing just to and then listen back to it and like make some tweaks and do those things so I wanted to move it over to a just a live thing do it on Twitch maybe get some interaction and then just just be able to save myself all of that editing time just it just means you've got to be a little bit more on it and I'll show you the sort of technical setup of how that that all works and of course there's this blog post where like I've, 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 I sort of you know you can sort of see all the details of what the audio is um, if you come over to this post, yeah, you, you can see like how I've got it all set up. I've, I've written it all down, I've, I've made some notes, I've shown shown what was going on, shown how the record works. And um, that's all on squares.tv. I'll put it uh, squares.tv slash live podcast, I guess. Um, we'll put it on there. Uh, I'll put this over so you know where to go, but it'll also be linked. Um, sorry, I have not shaved and... <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but I'm doing one. So this is what it looks like um, in OBS. And I've got the function keys set up so I can switch between each different thing. So we start off with a blank screen. And then we do a FaceTime. I, I, I fire up Audio Hijack. So there's my stuff coming through and then Ivanka's will capture the application and I sort of boost it a little bit and then I also boost it so that what I hear in my headphones is a bit louder because what I hear through the computer doesn't seem to be as loud and then I overcompensate. So that's that's how that's all set up. And then if we look at OBS, so Ivanka will be on that side via a, so I have this together scene, which is which is how I kind of lay this out. So it's got the overlay, we've got the FaceTime window capture, um, we've got the webcam, and we've just got the audio hijack sound comes into this scene so that when you can't see us, you can't hear us either. So rather than doing it under settings and like picking an audio, like a general audio input, we l use an audio thing here. And then that just means as soon as we do like the intro, so if I press F1, Right, um, so it, that will mute out us talking as well as everything else. So that's that's quite handy to to, to do, and I didn't realise that straight away. But yeah, it's quite useful. Um, so then I have yeah, I have the title graphics, and then I have like we have this audio session with where there's some music playing underneath, like the intro outro music. And the way I've done that is just like it. Um, <clears throat> It has, we have like the grand podcast intro music. If I just go to a silent thing there. So we've got the intro outro clip with a little bit of space at the start because otherwise it it doesn't start in OBS properly because it sort of fades up. Yeah, in fact, there it is with padding. So there's a little bit at the start just to deal with the thing. And then this is like a quieter <laughs> loop of audio that just can loop under the under while we're talking because this is I just basically mirrored how we used to how I used to edit it and now it's just I've, I've sort of recreated that in OBS so F2 and um, we've got the music under us and then um, once we're ready to go we've got a little transition period where I sort of press F3 and it sort of goes into the music swell and then I press F10 <laughs> straight away and it, and it, and it um, shows this little episode title and then we stay on this same thing so the music can continue so it plays for a little bit and then it's going to fade down again right and then i press f3 which brings us back and i say how are you doing ivanka and then we start talking and then this clip eventually fades out the music and then it's just us talking and so we talk 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 <laughs> how's it going we do a little intro where we talk to each other and then i press so i load up you see this this clip one clip two clip three clip four um, so I used to always like cut in little audio, um, like little music breaks. And I thought for the video, like, why don't I um, bring in like little video breaks with the music on them? So if I press F4 now, so we can sort of come to a segue in the podcast. So we've got this one. This is my favorite one. But let's, let's look at F6. This is fun. So I just press F6 and it plays the music. Yeah. And... Um, 
once the clip finishes, I just I'm ready on F5, and then we just come back to talking. And it, OBS will always sort of fade it in and out. But um, yeah, now we're now we're talking again, and and I've just got these little clips lined up. And there's me sitting in the novelty. I should have uh, like made this a bit bigger. Can I? What's going to happen? <laughs> I, got, I got goosed. And then, you know, F5 takes us back to the episode body. Um, these clips, like, so I have, like, I just, on my phone every week, I try and record a few, like, random little, like, clips that are just going to work. So I just hold the camera still, usually, just on some scene, so that it doesn't matter too much if it loops. Or sometimes there'll be something like this. Or um, let's see what we've got. Here's a boat that's kind of capsized by accidentally. You can see my mask on the edge. Uh, <laughs> I accidentally had my mask over the lens, but it's fine. Um, here's some stuff from Milan when we were away. Um, but just like little kind of, you know, cutaways that are kind of cool to see. <laughs> um, so these were all, you know, here's a... Rome, you know, so um, we've just got all these, just try and like record little slices of life and that can be, you know, local. Sometimes I've already put music on them, but most of the time I'm in um, studio loops. I just did all these little bits of music ages ago. I did one a day for a while basically, so I've just got all these tracks that, I don't know if you can hear these actually, but. And so, so what I'll do is, I've got all those little snippets of music, and then I just, in clip one, I can actually pause this by going here. So I've got the audio, which is like, which track, which song do I want? Yeah, okay, that's good. And then I've got, like, um, the clip source. And sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll leave the audio on the clip, because it sort of feels nicer, but sometimes I'll just do that. But the music, it's usually set to loop. The clip source is usually set to loop. Um, and then it just kind of like brightens it up. And then as we come, then as we sort of come towards the end of the episode, I've got, you see, this is intro, outro. So we will sort of end on another title as well. I wish it didn't have the little gap and I probably could like tighten up that little gap a tiny bit and it would still be good. And then it's like the same thing again. So we play it to here. I play it up until it's going to fade out. And then I hit... And I go, thanks for listening to that episode of the podcast. If you like us, you can support us on Patreon, etc., etc., etc. And then we sort of I hit the, this one again and go, we start going, bye, 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 bye. And the music fades up and then I hit F12 and it just shows that title card. And then finally, like I'm ready on F9. Um, just as the music gets to the right point to just go. So I sort of wait for this point and then hit F9 and it comes into my little kind of good to hear ident and then I just let that play to the end and then I, we literally hit stop stream so I start streaming f like on this blank page start streaming wait for it to kind of get ready then hit F1 and then go boom and it just comes in right so we don't even sort of do a preamble live on stream and that's that's really that's really the size of it and um, like the, the microphones and like so it's interesting with the audio because it's quite hard to judge the levels because the Mac is doing weird stuff to the audio levels as well. <laughs> and like FaceTime's like um, noise reducing the audio, but like my side isn't. So if you listen to the, the I, I, I'm, I'm going to link to a podcast episode that shows the whole thing. It's like quite a long episode. There's quite a lot of background noise in it because my side's a bit noisy. And especially there's, you can hear there's like work going on outside the studio is not as quiet as it used to be. Um, but on, on the other side, it's being noise reduced and the Mac's doing all this clever stuff. So it's sort of like there's a bit of asymmetry, but I think it like works well. And um, compared to how long I used to spend, like I, I save so much time. And also like the byproduct of doing it all in one go and releasing it all on the same day is like, I'm, it's no longer like, because we recorded it on Friday and then I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like Monday I do an edit that seems to take like so long most of my day on Monday and then I've still like got to listen back to it and make notes and then I've still got so it's like month Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday like it's just on my mind <laughs> but now I just do it all on the Friday I um and then I have a checklist 
which can I show you uh, without doxing too much? This is my, so if I look at the podcast, um, this is basically what's involved in releasing it. So I just do this after I do it. So we download the full Twitch video, dashboard Twitch TV. So I download the whole video and then literally just export it from QuickTime as the video. Well, I just rename it <laughs> and upload it to YouTube and export it as audio and upload that to the podcast platform. Um, so on Twitch, it's literally uh, in, uh, this is annoying. In um, content video producer, we've got um, you know just I just uh, I just download it, unpublish it <laughs> uh, straight away, and I just get an, a video file that I can just turn into the episode. I don't have to do any other. I don't touch it anymore. <laughs> so it just it's just night and day. So um, if you're sort of feeling brave enough to try it, and don't get distracted by chat like too much. Like I try and sort of check in, but not like. I, and sometimes I reply in chat by just typing if, if, if it's awkward to sort of like actually reply as part of the podcast because if Anchor's not really looking at the chat, it's just me. But um, we, we, it's it's just night and day compared to how long it used to take me to do this podcast. And it also means like if we do a longer episode, like an hour, it's, it's like not going to be, you know, 20 minutes extra audio recording is like an hour extra editing. So, you know, it's just, it's so, it's sort of exponential as the episode gets longer, how much more work you've got to do. But so if you're sort of feeling brave and you, and you, you don't mind a few sort of um, a dodgy start or a few like trial runs, then I would really recommend trying just streaming it and just doing it all in one go because it just takes out that entire editing thing. And, and the caveat is like the audio is not going to be quite as perfect and the, there may be some slack time here and there. It's not going to be like quite as slick. So if you listen to our older episodes, they're a lot more polished. But I think for what the podcast is, which is us having a chat, I don't think it takes anything away to just maybe have a slight compromise on the audio. But just to be able to sort of like it not taking quite so much of my life and letting me do other things like this platform squares.tv and make a video like this where I talk about it. So I think it all I think it's all worth it. And, and then uh, just going back to the checklist, it's, I do write like the episode notes. I do I do those in notes. So you've got to be as you're going each link that we mention. I, I write it down in my notepad, um, which uh, let's see. Yeah, like I, I write the links down as I go and I cross off which one of the uh, the clips that I've used already um, just so that when it comes to doing the description so, and so now I do it in notes um, so that uh, so it, it has this format so I sort of copy and paste the previous week episodes description do the title bring all the links together and then I copy that into the Patreon post into the YouTube post into the um, I also upload it at, like as to SoundCloud so that I can listen back to it at, on my podcast app, but it's like a secret <laughs> secret SoundCloud uh, post so that I can listen back to it and just, just see if it's okay. I used to use that to actually like know all the time codes that I wanted to do and edit, but now it's just like make sure there's nothing like I haven't accidentally, you know, Ivanka hasn't, we haven't said something we shouldn't have <laughs> on there. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's uh, yeah, and I've also got the website set up so that it does a link through to the thing, but you don't need to worry about that. So it's, oh, the artwork as well. I'll just show you the artwork quickly. So the artwork is, I, I do do a proper thumbnail. So, so we've got this, I just like go duplicate, like pick a different color for the background. Um, um, sort of find some image on YouTube, update the text, and then sort of just copy that through into a YouTube thumbnail as well. And then I use those as a thing so that then when you see it on the grandpodcast.com website, it looks, it, you know, yeah, that's not out yet. Um, it looks like, um, it looks good. I can format that. I actually have like a special script that, um, uh, it, it 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 goes and gets the RSS feed of the podcast and uh, turns that into a Firebase thing, so that which is what drives this endpoint. So let me know if that's something you want to know more about. Like I just literally have it as a new tab. It, this goes and downloads all of my stuff and uploads it into Firebase, so that it also powers my website as well. Um, uh, just like it just grabs everything off um, Instagram and YouTube and all those things. But we can talk about that another time. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I hope you uh, find that helpful. <laughs>